a human-powered blood centrifuge that can reach speeds up to 125,000 RPMs. This device can separate blood plasma from red cells in less than two minutes, and you don't even have to plug it into the outlet. A centrifuge is the workhorse of any medical diagnostics facility. From the extraction of plasma from whole blood to analyzing the concentration of pathogens and parasites in biological fluids, such as blood, urine, and stool, centrifuging is the first step for most diagnostic assays. A couple of strings and a little disc, and if I push, it spins. How many of you have played with this as a kid? Stanford bioengineers got their inspiration from a whirligig toy that marked their childhoods. After they realized that many poor countries can't afford laboratory centrifuges, which are critical for detecting diseases such as malaria, African sleeping sickness, HIV, and tuberculosis, due to the price point being a couple of thousand per machine, they spent some time trying to understand how their childhood toy worked. They knew it can be used as a centrifuge machine, but how? There's a moment when the disc is stationary, and then it starts to unwind and go in the other direction as you apply a force. Team leader Manu Prakash and his colleague brainstormed and prototyped for two weeks. Then they decided to mount a capillary of blood on a Whirligig toy that had a paper disc attached to it and they successfully centrifuged blood into layers. It was a definitive proof of concept. Before us, nobody had actually understood how this toy works. But before they moved on, they wanted to know how a Whirligig actually worked. They borrowed equations from the physics of supercoiling DNA strands to understand how hand forces move from the coiling strings to power the spinning disc. Once they had it, they made a so-called hand-powered, ultra-low-cost paper centrifuge, or simply, paperfuge. To be able to do nucleic acid tests out in the field itself. This is a tool that requires no electricity, no infrastructure. You can carry them around in your pockets for a price point of 20 cents. Built from 20 cents of paper, twine, and plastic, this paper centrifuge can spin at speeds of 125,000 RPM and exert centrifugal forces of 30,000 Gs. Prakash said that the technical specifications of their 20 cent paper centrifuge can match centrifuges that cost up to $5,000. If you focus on this, you should be able to see a separated volume. This paperfuge is able to isolate malaria parasites in 15 minutes and separate blood plasma from red cells in about a minute and a half. And best of all is the fact that it doesn't use electricity. Since Prakash specializes in low-cost diagnostic tools for underserved regions, he recognized the need for a new type of centrifuge after he saw an expensive centrifuge being used as a doorstop in a rural clinic in Uganda because there was no electricity to run it. Prakash and his colleague Saad Bamla even went to Madagascar and brought their paperfuges to help health workers and conduct a paperfuge field validation trial for malaria diagnostics with various community health collaborators based in Madagascar. This is the third invention from Prakash Lab, Prakash's laboratory with a focus on lowering the costs of laboratory services and equipment in order to help healthcare workers in poor areas. Their first invention was Foldscope, a fully functional paper microscope that costs less than a dollar to make and can be used for diagnosing blood-borne diseases such as malaria, African sleeping sickness, and shakas. There are thousands of Foldscopes in hands around the world. This guy and his colleagues really are changing the world for the better. Zero personal interests, just one to make the world healthier. Leave a like, because he definitely deserves it.